In an earlier video, I noted that 2023 marks the second year in which Antarctic sea ice has reached a minimum extent as measured by satellite instruments. Since in the Southern Hemisphere, the seasons are reversed from those in the Northern Hemisphere, the peak of summer in the Antarctic occurs during February. In Antarctica, sea ice normally reaches its maximum extent in September when sea ice covers around 7.3 million square miles or 19.0 million square kilometers. And by the end of February, historically only around 1 million square miles or 2.5 million square kilometers remains. Now we have just passed the peak of the Antarctic winter when the Antarctic sea ice has reached its maximum extent and is starting to decline. The satellite data found that the 2023 peak in Antarctic sea ice reached just a little more than 16.9 million square kilometers, or about 6.5 million square miles, a decrease of about 10% from the average of the previous 45 years of satellite measurements. This chart from the University of Maine Climate Reanalyzer shows the aerial extent of Antarctic sea ice obtained by satellite measurements between 1978 and the present. Between 1979 and 2022, peak Antarctic sea ice coverage varied between about 18.2 and 20.2 million square kilometers compared to this year's value of only 16.9 million square kilometers. There are two parts to the mystery of Antarctic sea ice behavior. Clearly one part of the mystery is what climate mechanism or combination of climate mechanisms are responsible for the sudden drop in sea ice coverage that we are seeing now in 2023. The second part of the Antarctic sea ice mystery relates to the fact that between the start of satellite measurements in 1978 until about 2014, sea ice coverage in the Antarctic actually had been increasing gradually. Then in 2014, it began to decrease fairly rapidly compared to the behavior of sea ice in the Arctic, which has been decreasing at a slow, but more or less steady pace over the same time span, consistent with what we would expect from gradually increasing global temperatures. This chart, which is taken from a paper published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences in 2019 by Claire Parkinson, shows the yearly average sea ice coverage for the entire Southern Ocean, and it shows the gradual increase in average sea ice extent from 1979 until 2012. Then that was followed by a peak in coverage from 2013 to 2015, followed by the relatively rapidly, rapid decline. While several possible mechanisms have been proposed for the gradual increase between 1979 and 2012, each one of those proposed mechanisms has serious flaws. Likewise, we currently don't understand why sea ice coverage in the Antarctic has been decreasing so rapidly in recent years compared to the much more gradual decline in sea ice that has been taking place in the Arctic. In my previous video, I pointed out that whatever the cause or causes in the recent rapid decline in Antarctic sea ice coverage, the consequences of this decline can be quite serious, leading, for example, to a much more rapid melting of the Western Antarctica ice sheet, which would add substantial amounts of fresh water to the oceans, leading to relatively rapid sea level rise globally. I hope you have found this video informative. If you have any questions or comments, please post them in the comments section of the video and I will do my best to respond. Also, if you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, I would appreciate it greatly if you had subscribed. Thanks for watching.